welcome to my channel this is your girl just naturally quita today i am doing a hairstyle on my daughter's hair her hair is freshly washed as you see i am picking out pieces of aloe i do use aloe in her hair as a pre pull i do have a video on my page to go back to look at to see exactly how i use aloe in her hair but um, i'm just going in spritzing her hair with water her hair does dry out really fast so i have to keep a water I'm going to spray bottle of water nearby, but now I'm going in and oiling the rubber bands because I'm using rubber bands for the style and I do not want it to snag her hair. I do apologize. Some of the products you won't see all the way in this video, but as always, I put a description of what I use in her hair. Um, but now I'm going in and I like to put the shade, raw shea butter on her scalp throughout her hair and then i massage it in her hair i use two more products for this hairstyle as well um, african's pride leave-in conditioner and do grow make a make a growth strength but as i said earlier i'm gonna put it in the description below so i parted her hair ear to ear i do apologize i was so into blood and water season three i did not notice that my phone was not the ankles was not angling right <laughs> but anyways um i part ear to ear and then i split into two pieces two sections excuse me so this row will have a total of three ponytails and i was undecided if i wanted to braid her hair or twist it but i just want to twist it for low manipulation and also fun fact she lost all the combs and hair utensils i think she threw them threw them away low key but i did find this comb in her room with her barbie so we just have to go and use what we have but i would highly highly recommend always using a wide tooth comb when doing your hair or your child's hair and always come from the bottom up so it don't have a lot of breakage and tension on the hair but as you can see her hair is fully moisturized um, it does have a lot of product on it but her hair eats it up at the end all right so i repeat the process i want the hair put the shea butter um leave-in conditioner do grow and then i twist the hair all the way down once i get to the final string i just curl it around my finger and then the next row will have four ponytails a couple days ago i was watching a series called the hair tales where tracy ellis ross hosted an interview a couple of black women and they share stories about why they wear natural hair and it's on the open network but I'll, i watched it on um hulu however it's a very very great show and it had me thinking it made me realize the reason why i went natural is because i never knew my true curl pattern until i was grown um i was one of those kids that had her hair perm when they were little so i always um with my daughter always hype her up about her hair um i barely wear my hair straight now because i want her to embrace her hair pattern but back to this tutorial, I am freestyling her hair. So this part, um, we're just gonna throw it in braids. And then I'm going to section off some pieces here. Mind you, I don't know where none of my clips or anything are, so please bear with me. Um, the ponytails that you see in this part, the loose that they are, they're just the base to keep it out of the way. My bad y'all, I'm so rude. Put in the comments what what was one of the reasons why you went natural or you choose to have um, your children wear their natural hair. And how old were you when you realized or first seen your curl your true curl pattern? Alright, so now this part that I'm sectioning off, I'm gonna have a total of four ponytails here. And I'm using her forehead. I'm I took the comb down to the middle, like the bridge of her nose, to center her part. I want it at least be a little clean up front. If you're new to my channel, I don't necessarily have clean parts. Um, it's not that important to me, honestly. Secretly in the back, her hair is parted slanted, and that's okay. That's her business. You won't know unless you all up on her in her business, and you shouldn't be in her business. But yeah. So yeah, those are as big as the, the actual sizes of her ponytail is going to be. But let me stop 
talking because I do have a gift of gab and I want y'all to enjoy this video. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the remainder of the video. And before I go, I'd like to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching all my content. So I braid it down in the front and once I get to the end, I two strand twist so it's not all the way braided down. So it's partially braided and partially twisted. This is the final look after I freestyle. Looks amazing, right? I know, I took my own horn cuts. It is hard for me to style her hair, but as you can tell, look at the back. Parts are not straight, but that is fine. But I'm gonna add some beads on it to accessorize. I normally don't let her wear beads because she's in preschool. She never comes home with all the beads. Look at that gorgeous smile. Oh yeah, my best friend, she had to get her tooth removed. So she is toothless. But look at that smile. Listen to me, hyper up. Okay. Pose, pose, pose. Look at the camera. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Bye.